and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi folks, I'm Bob Schrupp, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. You're the most famous physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Can I heal my torn rotator cuff by I, uh, we mean you. Oh, I thought you were asking me. So we're going to go into the answers for this. But by the way, if you're new to our channel, please take a second oh, to yeah. subscribe to us. We provide videos on how to stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. Also, go to bobandbrad.com because we're always giving something away. What are we giving away? I don't know. Go to bobandbrad.com. Go to the giveaway section. Find it's, out. It's a future video. It's a future video, right? Yeah. You'll also find it on Facebook. If you go to that, it'll be pinned to the top of the page, the mm. contest. Go to Instagram, Twitter, or TikTok if you want a 60-second version of Bob and Brad a day. Right. Rotator cuff, shoulder pain, a lot of people. Very I'm, common. Very common. And this question, can do I need surgery? Right. Right. Or can it heal with exercises and some treatment? So we went and did a little research, Bob. Right. And we found out the answer. Uh, first of all, we do want to clear this up, though. If your rotator cuff is injured, the vast majority of time, it is one tendon. The supraspinatus tendon, the vast majority of surgeries happen on that. And we're going to show you that first before we show you, get to the answer. And at the end, like Bob said, we're going to show you some exercises. Yeah, I didn't even say that. But yeah, at the end, we're going to oh. show you some exercises. You're going to want to hang around till the end because in case you do have a torn rotator cuff, we're going to show you ways that may help it. Right, things that we actually use with our patients. Yeah. So here we look at the shoulder. They got the humerus and the scapula or yeah. the shoulder, shoulder blade. blade. Uh, and the tendon for that supraspinatus muscle that gets impinged that causes the whole problem. We have it pink right here. We got a little piece of pink kinesio tape over it. And the muscle for it, belly is actually back up here, right there. So the, the job of it is to help position the ball of the humerus in the right spot so it functions properly. If it's not functioning properly, all kinds of problems can go wrong, and that's where it all boils down and to. And it certainly uh, can result in impingement where the oh, tendon yes. gets pinched. I'll go ahead and sacrifice, Brad. Go ahead and bring oh, it up. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Ow, 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 ow. Yeah. So eventually it wears it down, yep. and eventually it causes a tear. Right. So that's why impingement is not to be ignored. Exactly. You, know, you may have an, like you fall down, and you could, yeah. you could injure it that way as well. But oftentimes they come from overuse. Overuse, exactly. Sam, out of the way. We've got better things to do with you. All right. All right. So you got some studies, Brad? Yeah. Let's have a seat, Bob. Let's talk about this. I'll get serious. Uh so these are the studies that I've found. We're looking Mike, at the, do you want us to tilt this or is it okay? We got, okay. it's not blurry. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Journal of Orthopedic Science uh, in 2013. Now this was a review of the literature. So they went through uh, numerous studies. Which I always think are the great studies. I mean, right. the ones where they it, it's at nice to studies. do that because you're not yeah. looking at just one. Uh, I did pick one that they cited, but there were a number of other ones that were, I found in there and they had similar results, but this is uh, an exact uh, thing where they had 105 shoulders, patients with okay. shoulders, full thickness tears. They were diagnosed full so thickness tears. all the tears. way through the tendon. You're right. Uh, the ages, 44 to 80 year old. Sure. Uh, so these weren't young athletic people, but these were people that had shoulder problems from sure. overuse typically. Uh, six months of physical therapy exercises. Okay. Uh, and then they came back 12 years to 48 months or 12 months, one year to, f to th four months or four years. <laughs> Boy, are we sharp here. <laughs> right. so One year to four years. So we're looking over a span of how this uh, recovered sure. from their exercises. Uh, if we look at pain level, just pain, how did they result in pain? 50% of them reported pain-free wow. shoulder, wow. which is good. Yeah, so 50%. And, and another 40% reported only mild pain that did not need pain medication. Wow, so 90%. Right, with pretty darn good results. Right. Uh, it's better than surgery. Now function, could they use it? Uh, and these are, this was subjectively taken. 75% of them stated no 
daily limitations. In other words, they could. Now, I'm assuming these people probably weren't uh, like drywall hangers right, where they, they right. work overhead all the time. But, you know, they could reach into the cupboard. They could uh, function on a daily basis without problems. Sure. So that's pretty that's strong. That's very good. That's right. Very good. Let's go on to the next study by Kuhn et al. in 2010. This was just one, one study. It wasn't a review. Um, they had 396, so it's a pretty good population. A large study. Mm -hmm. uh, full thickness tears, once again, and they had physical therapy treatment uh, and six weeks of it. Sure. Six weeks later, 90% of them reported improvements. 10% did choose to have surgery. Got it. Okay. Then they went back two years later. 80% of them Continued to have improvement. Right. They did not have surgery. And have another 10% did elect to have surgery. So it's still fairly, fairly close between the two studies. Similar. Right. Right. So, so a very good sign to say you might get some healing going on. Right. You know, and the thing is, if, if you decide to take the conservative therapy treatment and it doesn't work out, Surgery is, is always an option. Right. And the stronger you get the shoulder before surgery, the better the results exactly. are probably going to be afterwards. You could talk to your doctor about that to right. confirm that. Every case is different. Yep, yeah. absolutely. So now you may be saying, what are the exercises? We're going to show you a few of them. There are uh, a lot of them. A lot of different exercises, and the therapist depend. You know, it varies on the individual patient. We're going to show you some of the ones that we really like and have good success. Sure. With. Wow. So we're going to start off with one involving the booyah stick. Or did you oh, want you want to start with the Statue of Liberty. Why? What did you want to start with? Well, I'm fine with it, but we've got to get this out of the way All quickly. Right. Quickly, Bob. Quickly. <laughs> These people are waiting. Go run, Bob. Man, he, he works like an old man. Yeah. Let's get this out well, of the I way. I wanted it out of the way. There we go. All right. So, here we go. Now, this one I actually started, I don't know if I invented it, but I, I haven't. You invented it. But it came from another... Uh, an orthopedic surgeon has a book written on rotator cuff treatment. And hanging. Right, Dr. hanging. Kirsch. Dr. Kirsch. Yeah. Yep, he's actually from Wisconsin. Yep. Uh, my, he 30, 30 miles from my hometown is where he lives right now. But hanging, uh, he has a whole book written on it. We're going to talk about it a little later. So this is based off of that treatment. If you take a a pole or a stick. Uh, or a broomstick even would work. A broomstick would work. Yeah. I've had people use that. This is the booyah stick. They work really well because they're, they're easy to grab onto. And you get your arm up. Now, the arm can't be really sore. This has to be where you can actually reach up. Might be a little painful, but not too bad. Well, you can reach up to start off just as far as you can and then start doing some right forward. So you can start doing this. This is not yeah, you the can true do it, hanging. It's you can do it on the floor. Range of motion. And then, you know, if you create sharp pain with this, it's too early. It's not ready for you. Yeah, you need to heal a little more. But as you get up taller, or as you can get where you can reach higher with less pain, but it's still not functional, this is going to create that gap so that, impinge, that tendon uh, does not get impinged anymore. And you just lean forward, but don't let your hand slide down. Keep your hand gripped. And that's, the booyah stick really works well for that. I've got it stuck on the chair so it does not slide. So you have to have a little uh, rubber cap on there or something yep. on the yep. surface. Lean forward and stretch. And what I'm doing is distracting that. And if it, again, it should be pain-free. And you're going to hold it for 5 to 10 seconds and go off. And the thing is, you want to do this throughout the day. I'd like to see you doing this 6 to 8 times a day. Sure. You know, um, and it only takes a few minutes. Right. So... It's something you can certainly throw in there, and you can work your way up. You know, you start off lower because yep. maybe your arm only goes that far. Right. And, I mean, we've had people with arthritis that have done this, right. and they started way down low, and by the time they come back the next time, they're really proud because they're up farther. They're moving up. Yep. So good judgment. Don't go too fast. Again, it should not create sharp pain and get it all sore. That means you overdid it, and you have to take take a break for a few days. Sure. Next thing I'm going to show you based, is based on the same principle, Dr. Kirsch on hanging. Now you can hang on a pull-up bar. Brad and I wanted to come up with a way that you could hang at home with a way that's not that intrusive. Right. So we have the wall anchors. So we, we sell a kit that actually has two wall anchors and two handles. 
And the handles, you got to get the anchors secured into a stud. Right. I mean, you have to put them in right. And then we have instructions on that. Right. And that, these hang up there. I love these because not only do they work my shoulders, they actually decompress my back too. And so, they help with your posture. Yeah. So what I do is I actually use a, take this, a, take a break like every 20 minutes or so when I'm working on the computer. Sure. And I just hang. Now, I'm tall. But I'm still putting a lot of pressure on my shoulder. Yep. And I'm actually can lift up my feet yep. all the way completely. When I do that, I just put my legs out in front of me. Yep. And relax them on the oh, floor. Like that. Yeah. Yep. You can do it that yep. way. I prefer this way. <laughs> sure. Whatever works good for you. I, I actually do some of these too, Brad. I actually retract my shoulders oh, a little bit sure. while I'm doing this just yep. to work on my shoulder uh, retract. Which is good for that rotator cuff. Yep. Yep. Now again, so, you can't if you got a pull-up bar at home, you can use that, and, and that works. You could hang on a branch. You can hang on anything that works. Yeah. If you've got some beams, you can. We do have the it. book. It's not a very expensive book by Doctor Kush. Kush, right? I'm sorry. So again, what's nice about this? I have this just right by my office, and I could just walk out and do it. You know, if it, if it's that convenient, you're going to do it a lot more, right? And it's going to give you more chance for your. Exactly. your your exactly. Shoulder heel. You wanted to show these two? Yet, yeah. Bob? Now some other more traditional exercises that, uh, at least for Bob and I, before we learn of these other these newer ones, is you need a resistance band uh, of some sort. Uh, again, I'm going to use the wall anchor. A lot of times you'll see people on videos or therapists they'll say wrap it around a doorknob, right. which is or fine. A bed post. Yep. Or... Yep. Um, this works so nicely because you can put them on and off easily. And we're going to start <laughs> out with scapular retraction. Uh, Bob, you want to show the main yep. emphasis? So what we're doing here is we're strengthening the muscles that hold the shoulder blade in place, which is really key because the shoulder blade has to be in place for the shoulder to work correctly. If it's not in place, you're going to get that impingement. Exactly. So this will make sure that you're not going to make things worse because you might have a partial tear. You might have a full tear but you could keep tearing it to the point where it actually retracts, the muscle retracts and lets go of the bone. Yeah, that's so, an issue. Then, so you, then surgery is probably then surgery there. is going to be around, around the bend for yeah. you. Um, you can also show external rotation. Yeah, this is a very, very, this is kind of like the go-to exercise for rotator cuff yeah. and, and impingement issues where you keep the elbow by your side, move the arm. Now, this is something that you would not do um, probably right away. No, uh, yeah. it, it, this is something you you know you have to do it, be able to do it pain free, right? And you got to be able to do it, uh, be able to do it. I mean, right. <laughs> if you're right. too weak to do it, you can, it's too early. And that depends on the band. I got a red band. You might start with a yellow band. Uh, repetitions of these, you're going to do ten to fifteen of these, and then go ahead and do ten to fifteen of these, and that might be enough for the first time. Yes, After be. a week or two, you might go two sets of ten, and I have my patients go up to three sets of ten as they get stronger, maybe a few weeks. Um, yeah, these are small muscles, so we start off with small resistance. Right. And you don't normally end up with hitting that much resistance on these because, again, they're small muscles. Right. And we do have videos on more exercises for rotator cuff strengthening. Just Google Bob and Brad. Good gosh, we have videos on everything. <laughs> only a couple thousand of yeah, them. Only a couple thousand. <laughs> All right. Take care. Thanks for watching.